This episode was sponsored by Charity Stars. Car sales statistics do not lie. Crossover SUVs are by far the most popular vehicles on today's international automotive arena, and judging by the innovations and variety of the upcoming unibody models, their success will only persist. In this episode, we'll show you only the newest 2022 crossovers that have already been unveiled. So subscribe to Automotive Territory and join us on this window shopping ride across the most vibrant class of family cars. Let's roll! Buick Enclave After the arrival of the new generation Envision and Encore, the time has come to refresh this midsize. The facelifted three-row family SUV boasts a new front grille, high-mounted daytime running lights, tweaked rear lights, and updated wheels designs. Apart from a modern look, the 2022 Enclave also offers a better value in the segment, since the majority of safety features come standard across the range. Besides, the interior takes a noticeable step towards a more luxurious feel, as the center console gets a new push-button shifter, while all the materials improve in quality. With no mechanical changes under the skin, the new Buick Enclave remains loyal to its tried-and-true 3.6-liter V6 that delivers 310 ponies and 266 pound-feet of twist. Before I proceed, I wanted to give a shout-out to this video's sponsor, Charity Stars. This is a revolutionary fundraising platform that helps raise money for charitable causes. Each donation gives you a chance to receive a once-in-a-lifetime experience or win an unforgettable item from more than 200 companies. This time, they will be giving away an award-winning electric sports car Porsche Taycan 4S with proceeds benefiting War Child UK. By following the link in the description, charitystars.com slash you will get 10 free entries on any purchase, including a chance to win the Taycan. This four-door performance Grand Coupe has a dual-motor all-wheel drive powertrain that makes bonkers 530 horsepower and can cover up to 250 miles on a charge. Unlike a Tesla, this Porsche can do countless 0-60 to 60 launches in under 4 seconds and tops out only after reaching the VMAX of 155 mph. Its cabin is yet another example of Porsche's racing pedigree and technological dominance, featuring sports seats and four screens. So follow the link in the description, charitystars.com slash and do not miss your chance to win the Taycan and help out the great cause. Let's keep going! BMW X3 and X4 BMW Sport Activity Vehicle and Coupe are entering the second phase of the model cycle with the ever-so-slightly reworked fronts and more dynamic rear ends. Heavy emphasis is made on the classic X elements. The kidney grill grows in size, yet keeps its orthodox design, and by request can be painted in high gloss or black. Plus, the lower air intakes are rearranged in the pincer claw contour. The X3 and X4 share a set of seven rear and all-wheel drive powertrains, working with an 8-speed Steptronic ZF transmission. Among those are three gasolines and three diesels with a 48-volt multi-hybrid tech. Plus, there is a plug-in hybrid modification with 50 miles of range. In North America, however, there is no PHEV version, and entry-level four cylinders will not be hybridized. The new interior layout mimics the 3 Series, screens are more prominent, and the cloud-based Hey BMW Assistant is smarter than ever. Lexus NX The second generation of the NX compact crossover shifts to Toyota's GAK underpinnings, gets four distinctive drivetrain options, and prepares to win consumers with more mature and evolved exterior styling. The model grows slightly wider, has new LED headlights with integrated DRLs, while its rear lighting signature now resembles the smaller UX crossover and AS sedan. On the drivetrain front, the quickest option is the NX 450H Plus plug-in hybrid. It peaks at 306 horses, covers 36 electric miles, and speed to 60 in 6 seconds. Other available powertrains include a 2.5-liter four-cylinder and a 2.4-liter paired with an 8-speed automatic, plus there is a regular hybrid. The updates continue inside the cabin, which debuts a new digital cockpit 
packs a 9.8 or a 14-inch infotainment with a human-machine interface and gets the third-generation Alexa safety system. Honda HRV eHEV The third-generation HRV is completely reinterpreted as a compact coupe SUV with an all-new electrified drivetrain option. To highlight the change, the muscular grille appears to be closed off and was painted in the bodywork matching color. The styling of the full LED headlights and the rear light spanning across the rear door is all new as well. In terms of the powertrain, Honda adopts quite deceiving sales tactics of Toyota and calls the new Gen HRV a self-charging hybrid. Admittedly, though, this is a superior system where a 1.5-liter engine is not connected with the wheels. Instead, it works only as a generator, while twin electric motors provide propulsion. The resulting output is 129 horsepower and 187 pound-feet of instant torque. An important argument for the loyal Honda drivers is that the third generation retains its central fuel tank layout, which means that the so-called magic seats continue to be on offer. Toyota Corolla Cross as previously anticipated, the crossover version of the current-generation Corolla sedan goes on sale in the US as the 2022 model. The Cross takes the slot between the brand CHR and RAV4 crossovers and sits on the global TNGAC platform. Its clearance is raised to 8.1 inches, the exterior looks more rugged, and it offers three available trim levels. At the time of this video release, Toyota has confirmed only one drivetrain option for the Cross, a 2-liter dynamic force engine with 169 horses, a CVT, and either front or all-wheel drive. It is possible that the 1.8-liter hybrid will become available later in the production cycle. Standard equipment for the model includes Toyota Safety Sense, 7-inch infotainment, smartphone connectivity, and a 6-speaker audio, while options will get you JBL audio system, a 7-inch digital cluster, a larger 8-inch display, and a moonroof. Hyundai Kona N After being released in a variety of drivetrain configurations, from the entry-level gasoline to all-electric ones, Hyundai Kona crossover tries on a true performance guys. Exterior-wise, it is distinguished by blacked-out grille, larger air intakes, and design 19-inch wheels, and low-profile tires from Pirelli. The model packs a 2-liter turbocharged engine, paired with an 8-speed wet dual clutch gearbox and a front-wheel drive. The system offers 280 horses of output, but if you press the red NGS button on the steering wheel, it increases to 290 for 20 seconds. There is also an electronic limited slip differential for carving corners, a dual-pipe active sport exhaust, and a specially tuned electronically controlled suspension. Finally, the all-black interior is burst out by the contrasting stitching in the end brand signature performance blue. Plus, in addition to performing regular functions, the standard 10.3-inch infotainment is ready to provide track maps and lap monitoring information. Kia EV6 Based on the new eGMP platform, Kia's first dedicated EV debuts the brand's new design language. Up front, the familiar Tiger nose grille is reimagined into the digital Tiger face. The sleek roofline gives it an aggressive coupe-like profile, while the rear is dominated by a full-length light bar. The EV6 promises rear and all-wheel drive systems, two battery options, and a maximum WLTP range of 316 miles. In 2022, Kia will also release the model in a real sports SUV guise, labeled the GT. It delivers 585 horsepower and targets 0 to 62 acceleration at 3.5 seconds. The cabin of the EV6 is simple and clutterless. There are two 12 inch screens handling driver's information and multimedia. The steering wheel houses the usual audio and cruise control buttons. Plus, you get 18.4 cubic feet of cargo space in the boot and up to 1.8 cubic feet in the tiny frunk. Nissan X-Trail The international X-Trail model follows in the footsteps of its North American twin, Nissan Rogue, 
and transitions to the new generation. The model sports the brand's V-Motion grille, flanked by narrow two-level LED headlights, and overall has a more rugged profile in the form of plastic cladding. For now, the only announced drivetrain option is a new generation e-power hybrid system that should rely on the electric motor that drives the wheels and a 1.5-liter turbo four-cylinder that recharges the onboard battery. Nissan also promises a flexible interior layout with up to seven seats that will be equipped with a 12.3-inch driver's display, a 10.8-inch infotainment, enhanced ProPilot safety systems, and standard zero-gravity seats. For now, the updated X-Trail shall debut in China, while the European markets will have to wait for its arrival till summer 2022. Opel Grandland Apart from saying goodbye to the X suffix and its nameplate, the facelifted crossover gains the corporate visor front fascia design, a modern interior, and more standard driver assist. Like seen previously on the Corsa Supermini and the Maka crossover, the visor front incorporates a closed black grille and new IntelliLux LED pixel headlights. There is also a muscular bonnet, a white air dam, blacked out B pillars, and standard roof rails. The powertrain lineup is kept under secret, but Apple hints at efficient diesel and gasoline engines, as well as a plug in hybrid option with all wheel drive. The interior of the model undergoes a noticeable overhaul with a new dashboard, and the buyers of upper trumps will enjoy a new dual screen setup consisting of a 10 inch infotainment and a large 12 inch digital cockpit. Hyundai Ionic 5 Already available on its home market and in Europe, this crossover inaugurates the all-electric Ionic sub-brands by Hyundai and promises to become the company's best-selling EV. Inspired by the 1975 Pony hatchback, it blends iconic retro styling with modern cues. There are two battery options and single rear or dual-motor all-wheel drive configurations that will determine specifications of the model. The 58 and 72.6 kWh packs support both 400 and 800 volt charging infrastructure. Hand 60 WLTP miles can be replenished in just 5 minutes, while the maximum achievable range is about 290 miles. Besides powerful on-road performance, the Ionic 5 crossover promises an airy interior layout with conscious materials, zero-gravity seats, latest 12-inch infotainment, and a digital cluster. Plus, level 2 autonomy is standard tech. Finally, you can recharge high-power devices both inside and outside the cabin. Kia Sportage While Hyundai's Tucson is already in the dealerships as the 2021 model, Kia's spin-off on the N3 platform was pushed forward to 2023. The newcomer wears Kia's new badge and becomes nearly unrecognizable boasting a futuristic front fascia with low-mounted headlights and boomerang-shaped DRLs. In terms of powertrains, we should expect gasoline and diesel engines, strong hybrids, and the range-topping PHEV with 115 through 265 horsepower. Among the major highlights of the interior are a Mercedes-style dashboard that merges the instrument cluster and the infotainment. Front seats are heated and ventilated, plus the level of driving autonomy is significantly improved. Are you excited about the upcoming lineup of 2022 crossovers? More models are expected to arrive shortly, so subscribe to Automotive Territory and not to miss them. Do not forget to follow the link in the description, charitystars.com slash to get 10 free entries on any purchase, including a chance to win the Taycan. Smash the like button, and as always, may the torque be with you!